sure what's going on there. It's like they're conspiring or something. Welcome back everyone, Mike here. Today we are going to be installing a new gun rack on the Ranger. Now this product is called, it is a quick draw gun rack for sporting clays and it's made by a company called Great Day Incorporated. Now I have no affiliation with this company at all, the only connection is I sent them some money, they sent me the gun rack. Now if you're not familiar with what sporting clays is, it's kind of like golf but for men. That's just a little joke there. I actually used to golf years ago and then I quit for probably 15 years and then played again for a couple more years and it's an enjoyable game it is but for me it just seemed to take too much time and once I started thinking you know I should be doing this or I could be doing that it was time to quit playing golf. There's not much more I'd rather do than just be here on the property you know cutting firewood or, or really doing anything and uh, that's what I enjoy. But I also have found that I do enjoy shooting sporting clays. So we went again the other day. I haven't gone but maybe six or eight times in my life, but it's something I think I'm gonna do more often. And what it is, you kind of ride through a course, you have different stations, and you end up shooting 100 rounds a day. You know, there's 100 targets. And uh, you'll have two throwers, one here, one there, and they'll come from over your head or behind you. And it's real challenging. It's a lot tougher than like just shooting trap. And so it's a lot of fun. But some of these places, you know, they'll have golf carts for you and four guys pile on them with all your guns. You know, everyone's taking at least 100 rounds of shells with them and uh, there's not a lot of room. But a lot of these places you can bring your own side-by-side -side with you. And I have that four-seater Polaris, which would work really well. And uh, I have the trailer now, so uh, I'm going to start taking the, the Ranger with me when we shoot sporting clays. So I wanted a gun rack. So anyway, that's what we're going to install here today. We'll try it out and see what we think. Uh, hopefully it's a decent product. All right, so this is everything that came in the box right here. Wow, what's that? It's a gun rack for the Ranger. I knew that's what we were missing. You knew that's what we were missing. How many guns does it hold? Four. Okay, I was just going to guess that. Yeah, so I'm not sure. The only thing I don't like about it is it, uh, it doesn't hook right into the lock and ride system. You have to drill four holes in the bed. But I guess they do that so it fits all different kind of side-by-sides, uh, well, I guess. Okay. Now you can leave everything else? Yeah, it'll just kind of suspend up over top. <laughs> you can be like Mr. McGill with the uh, Ranger and... Chainsaws, chainsaw, guns. Gun rack, weed, whack, weed eater. Got it all. Man. All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook this thing up or set it up and we'll try it out. Maybe I'll probably Were put... these instructions? That, that's the warranty. These are the instructions. You okay. can take them in the house. I won't need I'm them. I'm just going to show everyone what you do. Christmas. Putting together a big Barbie, nine floor Barbie house. Okay, here's the instructions. I don't need these. Yeah. <laughs> Six hours later, get those out of the garbage. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of instructions. There's probably a few others out there. Right. I love your Easter black. That's so pretty. Yeah, today's Easter. Uh, you'll see this video tomorrow on Monday. It's a lot colder today than it was it is, yesterday. It's chilly. But it's beautiful. We'll settle for it. Not going to complain. Yeah, it dropped like 20 the degrees since yesterday. It's so green. It's like a carpet for right now. Yeah, look at that. That's so just after one little flush. mowing so far. Flush. I didn't even do all of it yet. Did you get the approval from Eva and Hannah? Yeah. I watched a video. I saw them ripping on you. I know. They came out before I came out, so I didn't know what they said. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to put this thing together. All right. I'm going to go check the ham. I'll probably just throw the uh, 870 on there and take it for a ride <laughs> when I'm done. I don't want to put that new Beretta on it and make sure it holds together. Oh, oops. <laughs> Fall out and run it over. Should have read the instructions. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. So I think I'm going to mount this right here in the middle. I have the saw haul up here for a chainsaw. I have these coplin mounts right here for the string trimmer. And uh, yeah, I think I'll put the gun rack right here in the middle. It goes up and over. It's just about as high as a cab, maybe even a little bit more. So it's really not going to interfere with anything uh, when I'm not using it. And I guess I could take it off if I wanted to. But yeah, I think I'll put it right here. All right. Let me 
it goes something like that right there let's lay this down for now you're on a 3 16th hole I think I'll put one in Just a lag screw and one washer. That's what it says. that side <laughs> all right next you kind of connect it to Now you want to make sure you level it up before you tighten it up. Looks pretty good there. I won't tighten it all the way. I will uh, check it first. Perfect. Our checker one more time. Good. Snug ease up a little bit. I tell you, it mounts up pretty tight. Now we got to put the uh, gun holders on it. Uh, one thing I should have done before I tightened it up: these need turned to be in line with this. This is what your gun sits on.
almost forgot this has these little caps we gotta line these things up I'll tell you what it's very very sturdy I mean really sturdy should work out pretty good all right we'll see how the uh, Beretta fits on the new gun rack this is the uh, Beretta A400 XL. I'll put a video up above. Uh, Melissa and I shot this gun. We actually did a video on it a while back. Uh, maybe last fall, something like that. So far, I really like this gun. It, uh, it shoots nice. It points nice. I'm not a huge shotgun guy. I'm really not. I don't know a ton about them. Uh, the more I looked for one, you know, something to shoot sporting clays with, the more confused I got. So I ended up finding something that just seemed to shoulder nicely. And, and point nice and it does shoot really well but we'll try this out on the rack see how it fits this goes together very easily I need to clean this tonight I didn't clean it the other day when we were done So all you do is two Velcro straps. I think that'll work really nice. So far, my uh, first impressions of the quick draw gun rack for sporting clays is pretty good. Uh, it seems to be really well built. Definitely hold your shotgun in place. It's not going to go anywhere. Between the Velcro and the foam, you know, it protects the stock. A lot of guys really shoot big dollar guns when they're shooting sporting clays. The mount's very rugged. I mean, I'm rocking the whole Ranger back and forth. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, I like it. Should work really well. How's it going? It's done. Is that uh, Greta? Right, this is Greta. She probably would love it like a little perch. Yeah, they could roost on that actually. That would be great, or yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. I think it'll work really well. Okay. You sure it's right? I'm sure it's right. I was thinking they were gonna go across. No, it's like that. Good, so you can stop and bail out and grab your gun real quick. Exactly. What do you think, Greta? Hunter, what do you think? You could probably use these as little extra cup holders, right? Greta pooped on me. Did she really? My dress. That's why you don't hold chickens, Melissa. Ah! Not your dress. Let me see. Come around here. Well, actually, it blends with my dress, but it's on my hands right here. Ugh. Oh, yeah. It's on your leg, too. Oh. Look. Mm -hmm. Lovely. All right, I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> no, I just. Oh, I almost forgot to mention this quick draw sporting clays gun rack. I paid about $150 for it, something like that. And to kind of review what we went over today, it only took maybe 10 or 15 minutes at most to install it. It's very simple. It's really sturdy. I mean, I can rock the whole Ranger back and forth. The rack's not moving at all. I do like that. Uh, it protects your gun very well. There's foam inside there and then just velcro so you're not going to ding your gun up The only thing like I said you'd want to look out for is if you're out cruising through the woods and you had some low-hanging branches You'd hate to catch your uh, gun barrel on that, but I think most uh, Sporting clay facilities, you know, they have nice open trails and things like that wouldn't be a problem I'd much rather have this than uh, sitting on the back of a golf cart, you know holding your gun It's bouncing around and and things like that, but this would be a pretty nice setup for that and I think that's about it. Oh, something else I want to mention. This past weekend, we had our biggest weekend ever on YouTube. I don't know why. 
we've had a lot of videos that are doing really well but we've had we're getting like over a hundred thousand views a day the last couple days i'm really appreciative of that uh it's just been great we're having a lot of fun really looking forward to this summer we got a lot of things going on i was just looking at the weather for this week uh it looks kind of on and off rain but i know I'll, I'll at least get one evening get those posts finished up for the tower blind and hope to start building on that next weekend but it'll be all kind of things happening here in the near future so if you're into that sort of thing please hit the like button comment below let me know where you're from how things are going on your part of the world and uh, share these videos with your friends thanks Thank you.